Please be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station, the management, and its network. You guys are still watching Millennial TV and ako, I don't know about uh, you guys watching at home pero ako personally, uh, napakadami kong natututunan. I've enjoyed uh, mm. listening to the past uh, ilang minutes, uh, 30 minutes of yeah. our discussion. But yun nga, I've been meaning to ask no from the previous segment pa lang, ako, what do you feel about male people that identify as like feminists? Ako kasi parang may mga iba ring ako nakikita ko online parang yun nga parang some guys that try to mm-hmm. tama bang term yung white knight and mm-hmm. uh, yun nga parang they claim to be such advocates of women's empowerment na sila daw mga feminists na daw sila mm-hmm. so ikaw is, is, siguro kay Chris ko i direct parang does it make Yo, sense I'm, I'm interested oh, to know for a male to call himself uy pare feminist ako mm-hmm. parang <laughs> <laughs> because may because may, may sa, sa, sa mindset mo para meron pa rin yung fem hmm. feminist yeah. na na term or bakit bakit hindi mo na imagine eh ko kasi yun ang character ko na ano eh na talagang eh ko yeah mas manly ganun yeah. hindi ko maiisip yung parang feminist na ano but i think it it will take a lot of men and it will right. take for them to be feminist for things to change yeah because yeah. they're the lawmakers that are out there you they're know men. Uh, yeah. yeah the ones that are uh, even at home even in partnerships even in businesses for for the women to have an equal right you have to be feminist enough to accept that okay she has the you know she has the right. equal right and i think there are also things that um women knows that men that doesn't know. Yung na parang yeah. yung inexperience mo as a woman, di ba? Yeah, Hindi yeah. alam ng mga lalaki. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't have enough knowledge about about so, actually, a lot of for things. me it makes me proud for for a man to come to me and say but he has to have the facts and he has to have yeah, the yeah, actions yeah. to prove right. na talagang feminist siya baka yung iba sinasabi lang feminist for for, her, for that girl exactly. to be like oh, oh yeah. that's really nice oh, yeah. exactly, like, exactly. So, which is to impress mm, lang yeah, which right. is not a nice gesture I, I think when it comes to that yun nga yung sinabi mo uh, same with what's happening then in the LGBT uh, community na parang we appreciate allies mm. kasi syempre amin, amin natin minority pa rin talaga ang True. lesbian, gays, transgender so we need people who are pushing it na kasi kami salita ka I mean we're, we're fighting for our rights and all pero iba yung effect kapag if it's the people na I mean straight na who stand with us yeah. same with uh, racism like if it's if it's going to be like white people calling out racist uh, remarks or I mean fighting for uh Writes about you know African American. Parang there's something may mas may impact. Kasi yes. kung nakita natin na parang may may yung minority talaga yung parang at least mayroon silang allies. I mean I mean I, I think a lot of men din naman they see na they see themselves as someone na allies and they know what's right and wrong. But y- you know I, I think it's really just the label na they don't yeah, want. Yeah, I think it's just the word na feminist. Because it's kind of confusing because it's feminist. It no, it's fem. It yeah. But if you say, do you do you think women and men should be equal? You would say yes. yes but if correct. I say, are you a feminist? You would say yeah, no. Yeah, because it's yes. confusing. So I think there's a confusing yeah. part in that. Like, okay, you want equality for the sexes, but then you kind of maybe we should change feminism. Yeah. Ibahin na lang natin yung pangalan para tanggalin. Pero yun nga, mas inclusive dapat. Ah, yeah, yun yun nga. Inclusive. Yun nga yung ano, uh, equality, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, anong stand nyo? Anong masasabi nyo dun sa ladies first? Ladies, uh, really kasi talaga eh. Alam mo yun, that's like, it's been Pero ako, I don't too. care. Parang uh, na-appreciate ko kapag, okay, ladies first, or sila mag-open ng door, na-appreciate ko yun, yes. or napapansin ko yun. But, pag hindi, okay lang, hindi okay, yeah. yeah, naman yeah, big yeah. deal for me. Okay. I, I think yun din yung kailangan ma-instill sa mind ng mga little girls ngayon, little women, na parang, y- just because you're a woman doesn't mean that you're entitled, you know, special treatment and you're, you're going to, y- y- parang kailangan i-equip natin ng mga girls ngayon na kailangan you have to study, you have to finish your study, you have to uh, build a career on your own, make a mark in the world so that no one can just mm. underestimate you, no one can just, you know, like tell you what you have to do and what you, you should not do. So diba? it's almost as calling yourself feminist just for, just to impress someone. If yes. you're calling yourself feminist but then you're expecting someone to open the door or yeah. like yes. you expect someone to say ladies yeah. first. So it kind of cra- clashes there kasi nga, 
equality siya eh, Correct. you know and mm -hmm. you should get to a mental state na okay the opportunity should be equal if if ginawa ng lalaki yan that's nice Correct. gesture yes. and you should but not feel bad kapag hindi yes. niya ginawa cuz mm. men also have rights Correct. Yeah, yeah. ayun nga <laughs> diba ayun <laughs> nabanggit ko kanina <laughs> kung may merong women's right dapat may meron kailangan ba may men's right yeah. like coming yeah. from the history kasi we come from a history of women having no rights yeah. also yes. oppressed maraming oh, oppression yeah. na nangyari yeah. maraming so, more on power play or uh, power tripping na nangyari yeah. kaya I, I think that's where women are coming but from. I think the population of women are more than men. So maybe if we go all this way, eventually we, you have you guys have to fight for your rights. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck on the Love But what is the status of feminism dito sa Philippines? Do you think it has gotten better or is it still there? No, I, I think here in the Philippines, to be honest, ha, hindi siya katulad ng ibang countries na it's. Oh very like patriarchal pa rin, na parang dito sa atin pag nakita ka ng lalaki naglalaba parang they will not even ano man, judge you or i mean mm. diba unlike in other countries pag makita na ha wala ba mm. but you naguhugas ka na parang in in other societies i mean yes. ganoon pa rin there's like, a lot of discrimination yeah, especially in the western yeah. eh, parang talaga Means men root the boy yeah, yeah it's exactly. like weak for you to be do that Correct. i mean a lot of people are changing their views but right. i guess filipinos being so compassionate and so understanding and so family oriented mm -hmm. there is like less judgment yeah. towards it which is good. and i think there, there, there's nothing that we can do sa ako ano mga para naging mindset ng mga boomer father yeah. parents natin or yung mga lolo and lolo mo na parang hanggang ngayon very conservative and kung ano yung sinasabi sa'yo. But, you know, if you are stuck in that kind of situation, you know, make, let the cycle end with you. Mm -hmm. You are going to be the one who will change it for the future generation of your family. Na parang, kung may mga pamangkin ka ngayon na girls, guys, you know, tell them na, okay, na hindi ka pwede mang bully ng mabay just because you think you're stronger than the girls and mm -hmm. it, it doesn't uh, warrant you uh, na parang automatic uh, ano ka na, kasi you're a girl or you're a guy or mm -hmm. something like Kailangan yun yung mindset na nai-push natin dun sa mga kids. Kasi mm -hmm. they are going to be really the future of yeah. the, this country. But I think the Philippines are getting closer to achieving the ano, equality. Mm -hmm. Kasi like, um, these, um, parang itong situation natin ngayon, meron na tayong improvement sa wage, di ba? Yeah. But yes. there are still a lot of issues na kailangan pa rin natin mag-focus like, um, poor medical care for women maybe mm -hmm. yes ano pa ba um lack of legal protection yeah. de ba madami pa rin talaga but somehow nakikita ko na medyo madami yeah. na movements even in ako. reproductive health it's very uh parang focused so women na ano, I, I mean when it comes to uh birth control it's mm -hmm. very against women na parang but babae lagi yung gagalito. I, I, I mean, I mean, some people are going to agree with me on this. Sa parang bakat laging ikaw mag magpills ka, ayaw mo buntis magpills ka. And bakat hindi yun lao yeah. yung magcontrol. Diba? Or yeah, or meron naman kasi may mga vasectomy and all. It's irreversible, di ba? Until you're ready to have a child and you're like financially stable, you're mentally and emotionally. Uh, okay, equipped True. to have a family, it's it, it reverse. Yeah, that could be like an empowering movement. Yeah, yeah exactly. Very Something question ako, advocate. very interesting lang. Gusto ko lang i-ask, um, very, medyo confidential siya, pero baka pwede niyo masagot. Like, ikaw, Chris, or Waki, um, meron na bang instance na nag-ask kayo sa partner niyo to take pills? No. Okay. How about you? Uh? Are they even available? Are they available? I mean, yeah. They are. What do you mean? Some, are some they, men are. Hopefully, they like, won't be banned. I mean, the pills, na parang mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, last I heard, they're not the type of things na over the counter mo binibili. Or I think there are certain Meron, hormonal super, drugs, oh, oh. but they're not advertised as birth control per se. Mm -hmm. Which kind of leads me to the question I've been meaning to ask also. Uh, Si Ella mentioned earlier na there are some countries na it's only recently na women are uh, allowed, to, allowed drive, to drive. So ako personally as a dude, I'm just curious like uh, what are I guess two or three laws na uh, are actively implemented in other countries that favor women na nakatenga pa rin uh, dito sa Pilipinas mm -hmm. para kaming mga lalaki meron din kaming awareness na ah, pinaglalaban pala to sa ibang bansa ganito na dito hindi pa rin pala. I'm just curious. I'm throwing it back to the yeah. group. Here in the Philippines, 
I think we should have a lawyer next time here when it comes to talking about legal for issues. For legal questions, you may ask our lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have an episode, but I, I think not just the legal um, issues, I mean just just the basic things, eh, no? Yeah, na parang yun yun, right. yun, parang you, 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 you don't have a say kapag sa, sa family, like parang you don't have, mo, mostly ngayon, like for example, yun nga, yun parang sa birth control, like parang the blame is on you. For example, mm-hmm. nagkaroon ng affair yung husband, parang the blame is on the wife na parang maybe hindi mo kasi na-fulfill yung responsibilities mm-hmm. mo as a wife. I mean, it, it's really not about lo- right. not it's just laws, but the mindset, thing. cultural let things. Me, let thing. me share something as well. I am so lucky and privileged to be living here in the Philippines in a country where we're, we're having a hard time coming up with laws that are against women, but then in Middle East, it's actually kind of sad. Like for example, yun nga, they're not allowed to drive. Even the topic on hijab and correct, correct. Uh, yeah, wearing of it, I think one women's, um, one feminist movement or one uh, what do you call it empowerment movement is that women should have the choice whether they want to wear correct. it or not. Yeah. So we still don't have that choice yeah. that a lot of people are fighting for. Yeah. Or for example, in, in 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 a lot of countries in Middle East, um, the the father has to permit the daughter to for example exit the country yeah. or if the wo- the if she wants to get married she Correct. doesn't have the right yes she, she doesn't has have to the have choice a, she has to get it from a man yes. even surgery if you mm. want to have a major surgery in Iran it has to be signed off by your father right. so mm. those are the laws na bakit yeah. yeah. i'm a woman i i am cap- more than capable of making my own decisions so right. why is it that there is a uh, involvement of a man why is the why does he have the higher authority and not even my Correct. mother and yes. parents so Ooh. it's not like a matter of care thing but why is it a man it, it, and then later on when you get married it's the husband yes so we have it good here in the Philippines and I'm so happy yeah. <laughs> I guess like I, there are a lot of um, we are on the right track yes. I mean when it comes yeah. dami daming mga ano dito sa, sa Twitter pa lang daming woke sa mm, Twitter yes. <laughs> I, I don't want to sound an ass but you know maraming woke in terms of like no yeah, man fight. finally swore on <laughs> air <laughs> Oh. But, uh, but uh, I, I'm I'm just excited about the the future of um, feminism or ju- yeah. just the future of gender equality. Mm-hmm. You know, being a part of the minority as well uh, as a part of LGBT. But you know, before we get more yes, to you know, si ano, ano pa yung mga ma- masabi ko rito <laughs> na ko ano yung mga ano? Since mga dong hita dyan yung argument oh. natin, I think may magi speech pa eh. Yes, I, I think yes. it's very important that we celebrate then. Isa sa mga yes. kasama natin dito sa show. Waki Mendoza, ang ating tribal chief, ay nagsa-celebrate ng kanyang birthday. Yes! So, I'm very, very excited na parang we have to wait. Oh my gosh, my pa surprise! Thank you, Kuya Willie! Yes! 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 Ay, sure, wait lang, TV. meron pala kami pinipair din. Ito Ayan. yan! Oh. <laughs> Paki, ano, <laughs> paki-focus yung ano. <laughs> paki-focus, like hindi ko na makalimutan. No, but seriously, uh, you guys know naman, no, it's been a very, very tough year for me and uh, I will be forever grateful to the show. It's cast, uh, the cast talaga, you know, and the production, the, crew, the guys yeah. in the back for uh, yeah, giving me Sir an Butch. outlet and Yay. Sir Butch, the guys at home na and uh, the girls at home also for uh, being able to be part of uh, my journey and my healing. Maraming salamat po <laughs> sa ating mga co-host, mga tao po sa likod at lahat po ng mga viewers natin na bumate. Napaka saya ko po ngayon yes. at kahit naging mahirap po to, itong taon na to para sa akin, very thankful ako sa Millennial TV at Yay. naging part kayo ng aking 2020. Happy birthday! By the way, meron tayong special message pala doon sa ating dalawang kasama na wala ngayon sa show. So, let's watch this, Waki. Wow, may pa-message. <laughs> Hi, Waki! Happiest birthday to you! And I wish you all nothing but the best and happiness in the world. Also, um, I'm very thankful for friendship. Uh, super bad mo and talagang nandyan ka isa ka sa mga uh, friends na talagang tinatrash na to and I'm very thankful dahil sa kindness and care mo uh, you are really one of the best um, sana nag enjoy ka today and I hope 
to see you soon, guys. I miss you. I miss you and all the MTV crew. Take care always. Happy, happy birthday, Waki. I hope you enjoy your day. Um, thank you, thank you so much for saving my ass. Every time na I laugh so hard on the set or even at times where na may mental block ako. And yeah, um, I just want you to know na Waki is really growing on me. And the more I get to know him, the more I like who Waki really is. I am um, happy birthday and I look, I'm looking forward to spending more time with you on and off set. Yun la, happy birthday! Thank you so much, you Levi and Zara Lim. We miss, we miss you, you girls. Levi and Zara, yung mga OG girls natin. Para natin yung male host na dagdag. At marami na parami yung mga female companions natin. At habang nagbi-message sila, meron ka ng icing mm. sa ilong mo. Yeah. <laughs> But, oh my goodness, over time. I guess ako na mag-extra. No? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ikaw na siya, coach ha. And then, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. Okay, ikaw. at oh. isa na naman po ang episode ang natapos. At isang oras na naman ang lumipas. Siyempre, birthday din ni Waki. Happy birthday ulit. Thank you for joining us here on Millennial TV. Yes, kasi nga di ba kailan lang birthday na ating tribal chief Waki Mendoza. So to make him feel the company and the love of MTV, in extend natin talaga dito sa show ang kanyang birthday special. Yes. So ayon hindi niya po talaga alam na may surprise kami. Yes. <laughs> but legit, but, 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 I was surprised when you uh, came in. With yeah, actually, wala kami idea. Nakita lang namin dun sa story niya na marami mga nagigreet na sa kanya uh. because very secretive siya. Parang ayon yung ano alam mo yon gusto niya na. No, but me, but me being the new member and just meeting Mike Wake, he's such a special host and I'm enjoying getting to know this guy. Kaya nga parang I'm looking forward to the conversation that I will have with you. And happy happy birthday. Yes, Yay! yes, yes. Yay! Message? Uh, <laughs> message ba isa isa. Ako? Okay, uh, sure. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, hindi ako magaling sa mga greetings at sa mga wishes na yan eh. Siguro ano na lang, uh, good luck sa mga future yes. fights, more wins. Yes, yes. yes. Go, Cha. At syempre, happy birthday, Waki, bilang uh, magka-same village tayo. Pag tumakbo ka next year, dahil hindi ako, bum- hindi ako botante last year eh, sorry. Pero pag botante ako, binoto talaga kita, promise. Sa next na ano, pag takbo mo, promise, ibuboto na talaga Yay. kita. At syempre, tuloy-tuloy mo lang yan. Yeah. yeah. Don't give up. Bakas. Nasa sa sa cake. Oh, wala. Waki is such a fun person. You know, um, so may ikling panahon na nakakasama tayo dito sa show, like in 30 episodes pa lang tayo. We've been uh, very close. I mean, uh, sinabi ko din sa vir- birthday greeting ko sa kanya na parang he is like the straight person every gay guy should have. Yes. Like very chill. Yay. Oh, <laughs> oh ayan na 'yon, 'di ba? Go lang. <laughs> Happy, happy birthday, Joaquin. Uh, millennials, please keep on supporting Millennial TV. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Just search GNN Millennial TV. Siyempre, <laughs> join us every Sundays, 8 p.m. here on Golden Nation Network, GNN GSET Channel 1. I am Cha Suzara Ceballos, together with our Real Talk Master, M.A. Bondia, Mysterious Hog, Chris Abaya, and ang ating birthday boy na si Tribal Chief Joaquin Mendoza. <laughs> and of course, the very beautiful Miss Ella Thank Amari. You. Thank you for joining us here on Millennial TV, de ba? Thank you. Thank you, viewers. Hey, didn't they have an extra? My line, pano? Let's see you guys again next week oh. here on Millennial, Millennial TV. TV. This, This is, is our time. time. <laughs>